welcome back to another weekly mom vlog today i was going to originally film a day in the life but this morning was just so hectic already and also it's not like a typical day in the life today just because ryan is off from school today is mlk day so he has no school and just the morning was just really rough so i decided not to film a day in the life today i'm going to film it later this week but I still wanna vlog a little bit today. So I am gonna film a, a little bit today and then combine it with a bunch of other days that I decide to vlog. I just got out of Madison's therapy. Today is Monday. You guys who follow me, you know Mondays are Madison's therapy day. So we had an hour and 45 minutes of therapy and now we are going to run to the store really fast. So I got Ryan's teacher a small gift for her birthday. Her birthday is tomorrow. Ryan goes back to school tomorrow and i did have gift bags at home but all the ones i have are too small to fit the gift that i got her so i just need to run to dollar tree super quickly just to get a gift bag i already have like tissue paper and stuff like that and then i was thinking about getting her a card but i think i'm just gonna have ryan actually like draw her a card i think that would be a little bit cuter so that's what i'm about to do and then after we'll probably pick up some lunch or something i'm not 100 percent sure all right seriously people all right i'm trying to turn into dollar tree and this entrance getting into it people always block it off it's so annoying thank you guys all right some very nice people let me through so good thing about coming to dollar tree on a monday morning is i get literally front row parking i always have to carry madison in because she walks so slow so this is probably a horrible idea of recording like this i had to stop like three times just because the wheel got in the way but anyways we're gonna run to dollar tree super quickly grab a gift bag for ryan's teacher and i guess if we find anything in there we'll buy some more stuff because who goes in dollar tree and only buys one thing but anyways i will um check in with you guys in a, a little bit did you get out of your seat already buddy yeah yeah all right, so i'll check back in with you guys in a so we got a gift bag for his teacher this is the one that ryan chose do you like it maddie do you approve do you approve yes or no yeah you're in it it's cute. They have a, a lot of really cute gift bags at this location. Hey, where are you? You want to get her a balloon? Hey, why don't you get her? Not that one. That one's broken. He wants to get her a balloon as well. Why don't you get her? There's a princess one. Maybe she'll like the princess one. Or that blue one. Just one with a stick. That one doesn't have a stick on it. He wants to get her a balloon as well. So I'm going to let him pick one out. This this guy. That one. That's not one. That's a get well one. It has band-aids on it. How about you get her a birthday one? Look, there's a birthday cake one too. You see that birthday cake one that says happy birthday right there? Is this the birthday one? No, over here. We'll have to get a stick for it though. You wanna get her this one? You wanna grab that one? Do you like that one or no? I think. You like it? Hey, I know which one she'll like. She'll like this one. That okay. okay. Here's a stick that oh. we can put it on. You found a stick? All right, can you put the stick on the balloon? Yeah. He can found you, a balloon for his teacher. Oh, you're recording too? Ryan's recording on his tablet. So we're going to get her a balloon okay, as well, I'm I guess. I'm putting, I'm putting it in the thing. Good job, buddy. You're so sweet. There. There you go. All right, put it in the cart. All right, so we got her a gift bag, a balloon. Now I just want to walk around and look around for a little bit. So let's yeah. see what they have. Come on. Have any of you guys ever um, tried these signs for kids? They are in Dollar Tree. They have a few different ones and I want to get one, but I don't know if they're worth buying or if they even work. So they have this one that I just showed you and they also have another one. This one's like crystals, but I don't know. I guess it's only a dollar, so if it doesn't work, it's fine. But I think that's really cool. They have like educational stuff in here as well. They have a really good school section if you guys are looking for like school stuff for your kids. Um, like if they're young and they stay at home, I used to buy flashcards and workbooks, but I like that they have like science kits as well. Maybe I'll grab one, I'm not 100% sure, but Ryan, of course, as always, is taking forever to pick out a toy. Have you picked anything out, buddy? They also have this. This is really cool for if you guys do like road trips, long road trips. They have this. It's bingo in the car. Um, we are going to Florida soon, so I'll probably grab some of these. Oh, that lighting is horrible. They have a bunch of different ones, so this is really good if you're like traveling and you need something for the kids to do in the car. That's super cool. It's like other stuff like these things, but 
Yeah, this is starting to become a shop with me. Ryan, come on, since he's getting super cranky. All right, guys, so we just left. Let me lower down this music because I do not want to have copyrights. Um, we just left Dollar Tree and I'm proud of myself. I did not buy a lot of things. There was a ton of really cute holiday stuff like Valentine's, but I did not get any of it. I'll probably go back next month when it's closer to Valentine's to pick up some stuff, but I don't really need anything right now. Um, but we are on our way to my friend's house, which is also Ryan's friend's house, um, Bolivia. So we haven't gone over there for a while just because ever since I moved kind of not far from each other, but further we used to be like 15 minutes from each other and now we're probably like 25-ish minutes. Um, and we're always busy. Like her daughter has, um, I think she's in Girl Scouts and then she does like gymnastics and stuff. And then Ryan now is in martial arts. So our schedules never line up but today both the kids are off in school so i told her i would go over for a little bit so that's where we're going now but for some reason you guys i am craving onion rings from burger king so i think the last time i ate burger king was a decade ago i never go to burger king um just because i don't know i just never go um so yeah i think the last time i had burger king was literally like a decade i'm not even exaggerating i'm pretty sure i was still living in florida and i haven't lived in florida for like probably 10 years so yeah i decided to go and pick up some onion rings i hope i don't regret it later because i feel like every time i do this where i'm like craving something and then like fast food wise and then i pick it up i always end up regretting it like 30 minutes after i eat it so hopefully i don't regret that and I don't know why I'm craving it so bad. Like I've been wanting it for the past few days and I'm telling, I was telling myself, don't get it, don't get it. And today I decided just to go and get some. And no, I am not pregnant for anyone who's like, girl, you're pregnant maybe for your cravings. No, I'm not pregnant. My tubes are tied to so this girl. I have no more babies. Um, I don't know why I'm craving it, but yeah, definitely I'm not pregnant just for any of you guys who are thinking that. Although I know there's like a 2% chance that you can still get pregnant with your tubes tied. And with my luck, I would be that 2% getting pregnant. Also, twins run in my family. So imagine, oh my gosh, I would die if I was pregnant and then I was pregnant with twins. And don't give it to Charlie. That's hi, hi, that's, you guys know that's not snacks for you. That's snacks for Charlie. Oh, Charlie's happy. Yeah, I know. Charlie, come on. Make him sit. Come on, boy. Come on, boy. Charlie's like, give him the dang treat. Maddie. You still playing with the bread? Madison, you want to get a haircut? All right, let's see here. Oh my gosh. So, Aw, she needs a haircut. You need to cut her hair soon. We can do it right now. Anyone want to come to Angie's salon? Live in the Georgia area? Look. Look, do you want to get your hair cut? <laughs> she's looking, she's looking it. She's looking? She's looking the, whatever it's called. In this long mirror, I need this mirror in my house. You know, I just realized I'm wearing the same exact outfit that I was wearing the other day when you watched that. Oh, really? Yeah. That's My outfit really of the nice. day. Boots, black pants, and this shirt that I bought when I was pregnant with Ryan. <laughs> yeah, well, you know how I know I gained weight? Because this shirt I bought when I was pregnant with Ryan, and it was actually still big on me. And I would wear it open, and now it's super tight on me. But it's okay. Madison, you look so cute in there. You want to get down? I'm gonna go back to the gym so bad, but... Ryan, to what's to, um... today? MLK Day, what does that mean? Martha Looking King. What does it stand for? Martha Looking King. Okay, what does that stand for? Like, what does that mean? What does today mean, the day mean? I don't know the day mean. You don't know? Hey, Maddie, no, no. Um, on the King Day, uh, I'm just going to call him Junior because his name's hard to say. So on Junior Day, then all the banks are closed. Oh, all the banks are closed. Okay. So we just learned that Martin Luther King Jr. Day, that means the banks are closed. Right, Angie? That's right. Madison, do you have any input? Hey, guys, and welcome to another weekly mom vlog. It is 9.24 on Monday morning. I am heading over to Madison's Therapy. If you guys are new to my channel and you don't already know, my youngest, my daughter, who is four and a half, she is um, autistic and she gets therapy twice a week. So this is her first session for the week. So I'm heading
heading over there right now. Ryan is already off at school. And then also my husband had to leave for the week for work, which sucks. I hate when he has to travel. He honestly hasn't traveled for probably almost a year. I think that was the last time he had to travel for work. So I can't really complain too much because he hasn't traveled in a really long time, but I just hate when he does have to travel because I hate being home alone at nighttime. It really sucks. So during the day, I don't mind being home alone during the day. Um, I actually like being home alone during the day because I can get so much done in the house when it's empty and there's no one in it. But at nighttime, I'm just, I just get so much anxiety and any little noise that I hear, I think it's someone trying to break into the house and then um, yeah, I just get super nervous. We do have a security system and then we do have security cameras all around our house. So like, if I do hear a noise, I can always just check the cameras and see. But yeah, I just don't like being home alone at night. But hopefully he'll be back by Thursday night. He said he'll either be back home Thursday night or Friday afternoon. So I'm really hoping that he gets back Thursday night. So. Anyways, um, for today, I really don't have much planned. I will like to batch film a little bit this week. I had planned on batch filming last week and I just do not have any time to do so. I was just busy a lot of the week and then also, I'm not gonna lie, I was a little lazy too as well. So I would like to get that done this week maybe. Um, hopefully, maybe when I get back home from medicine therapy, I will do a little batch filming before I have to go get Ryan from school. So I'm obviously sucking at vlogging today. I've only picked up the camera one time. I did already put all this away and I made the beds and stuff and I didn't even record all of that. But I did just put some chicken in the crock pot. I did marinate some chicken. Let me lower this TV so loud. I did um, marinate some chicken overnight and I just like seasoned it with salt and pepper, um, garlic powder, onion powder, um, paprika, and like parsley and then I put some barbecue sauce on it and I let it marinate all night and then I just put it in the crock pot I'm gonna let it cook in there for a few hours and then I'm gonna shred it up it's a really large piece of chicken so I'll be able to get probably two nights worth of dinner out of it because Robert is out of town um, he'll be out of town for a few days so I'm gonna make some sandwiches out of them and then also I'll probably do tacos and like rice I don't know which one I'll do tonight if I'll either have the sandwiches tonight or the tacos tonight but those are I think the two ideas that I am leaning towards and Ryan likes chicken but he doesn't like barbecue sauce and I just thought about it now he's not gonna eat like he'll eat pulled chicken um in the crock pot but he won't eat it like if it has sauce on it so I know he's not gonna eat that and I just realized there's a bunch of barbecue sauce on there so I'm gonna have to defrost some chicken and cook him chicken on the side for himself but Madison she's not picky so she'll eat from the chicken in the crock pot so that is what i'm doing now i still do need to fold some laundry so maybe i'll film myself doing that as well ryan's back home from school it is 3 30 i already want a glass of wine i'm not going to do it until at least five o'clock but let's see how ryan's day at school was what? how was school today good good what did you do well, uh, i first i did my morning work oh yeah and then what and then um, i did um Mm -hmm. And then I did math centers. You did math center? You had fun in school today? Yeah, and I did math center. And today, Ms. Carbo gave us a new center. Oh, yeah? Yeah. And what are you eating? Peanut butter and pretzels? Is that your afternoon yeah. snack? Mm -hmm. Is that your favorite afternoon snack? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. All right, so we are outside and in my backyard. I'm gonna let the kids run around just for a little bit. Um, actually, one of my neighbors invited me to go to the park with her. No, no, don't eat that, that's yucky. Um, with her and the kids and another friend in the neighborhood. No, hey, no, that's yucky. Um, but Madison's just been so cranky all day. She's been having her GI issues. Hey, no, I said no. Oh my gosh, she's trying to eat charcoal. No, that's yucky. Here, walk around. 
she's not listening. Um, but Madison's just been so overly cranky and mad all day. She's been screaming. And actually when she texted me, Madison was in the middle of a tantrum. So I told her I couldn't go because Madison was really mad. But right now in this moment, she seems to be fine. So I kind of regret not going, um, but it's too late now to go. I think they're gonna be leaving shortly. So I'm just gonna let the kids run around on the side of the house just for a little bit to let off some energy. It's a really nice day. It's, it is still pretty chilly, but it's not like freezing and it's also not like hundred degrees. So let them run around so they can fall asleep early tonight because like I said, Robert's out of town. I would like to get the kids in bed early tonight so I can have some wine, catch up on some shows. I have so many shows on my DVR that have been recorded for months and I still haven't been able to watch it. So maybe I can catch up on that. Um, I have a video that I pre-recorded today, so maybe try to edit that video as well. I'm not sure, but that is the plan, so. Where are you taking her? All right, be careful with her. Hey, why don't you play over here? Come over here. Hi, Maddie. Oh, you, you brought some toys? Where are you going? Where are you going, Maddie? Her hair is getting so long, you guys. I need to give her a haircut. Do you need a haircut, honey? What? You're mowing the lawn. Good job. How much do I have to pay you for that? Oh, you brought some dinosaurs. Cool. Yeah. I got a brachiosaurus, triceratops, pachycephalosaurus. Awesome. That guy, this guy, this hey. guy. Hey. What are you doing? Are you, I think you need a diaper change. Your diaper looks super full. Are you having fun outside? Are you petting me on my head? Yeah. <laughs> I'm having fun. <laughs> <laughs> chicken is done cooking I just finished shredding it up so there's a ton of chicken in here which is really good because it'll be for me and Madison I'm gonna make um some tacos with this tonight for myself for dinner Madison already ate out of it and then the rest I'm gonna save for tomorrow and probably make some pulled chicken sandwiches for dinner
Hey guys, so it is much later. It is around seven o'clock right now. The kids have probably about 20 minutes before I will put them to bed. So I'm just gonna close out this vlog because the rest of the night I'm just going to be relaxing. I did just pour myself a glass of wine. I usually go for red. I like red wine a little better, but since I've been whitening my teeth, I don't want them to get stained very quickly or easily. So I'm gonna go and just drink this white wine and relax for the rest of the night. If you watched all the way through, then thank you so much for watching all the way through. If you did, leave a purple heart comment down below and that'll let me know that you made it all the way to the end of my vlog. I just want to say thank you so much for watching today's vlog. If you have not already, please remember to subscribe. I would love to have you join my YouTube family. It would mean so much to me for you to subscribe to my channel. So make sure to subscribe if you have not already. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.